x-axis disapproves of three features of the present global order. What do you think they might be, if anything? The items below are listed in no particular order. When they see you with a gorgeous young woman, when you have reached your limit, and when you are not the clean-up guy, it can really get under their skin. Instead of living your greatest life without women, you'll find that women are, well, let's just say they're not happy if you do any of these three things. If you get my meaning, you have heard it all before. I want you to realize this truth deep within your own being, the fact that you are an IST and an ism, and the extent to which you are a metaphase, a horrible guy. To be successful in one's endeavors and to have a sense of pride in one's accomplishments is OCTA. Give up your worries about the past and start living the good life today. Now that they are past their prime, it is okay to tell these pampered brats that you will not be going to their help. Adopt a nomadic mindset and soak up every last drop of independence this world has to give. Without a man's financial support, most women will be destitute and on their last legs by the time they reach the age of 35. Glass half-empty thinkers might take note of these college-educated women's high incomes, flashy automobiles, and spacious mansions and conclude that they have achieved success. We can't slam those who have found success because of how hard they work to get there. But we can't ignore the fact that a few elderly women are financially dominating the rest of us. This channel is not appropriate for such language. Instead, we'll look into the habits of the majority of this group, the strong and independent older women. That is to say, these booths clearly have a walking-oriented design. Females who try to emulate men generally end up failing spectacularly, which is why I have no use for them. It's important to keep in mind that very few women launch Fortune 500 companies. The vast majority of them are wage slaves who count on their masa or employer to meet all of their financial needs. These individuals were required to get a bachelor's degree before being considered for these posts due to cost constraints and the fact that women have been disruptive to their families. In order to attain their current status, which may include a job and what looks to be a good lifestyle, the bulk of these women took out loans and ultimately became slaves to their lending firms. Loans, credit cards, mortgages, and car payments are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the debt these women are carrying. It can look like they're winning from the outside. However, if these ex axes hadn't divorced Grape, a guy to kingdom come and started using their money and fame for good, they would be in a lot of pain right now. These ladies are about to hit the big four to zero. They may be womanists at heart, but they've given up on climbing the corporate ladder or starting their own company and instead have settled for settling down with a simp. Every day in the locker room, Coach Greg Adams is an inspiration to these guys. After realizing there is more to life than being a woman's plow horse, these men have taken their savings and struck out on their own. Seeing this makes those women explode with wrath. They rode the Black Eagle at their peak efficiency anticipating that Mr. Monkey Simp would be there to whisk her off her feet and down the aisle at the finish line. Yet those times are long gone, as modern men will not tolerate such confinement. Instead, they're going overseas to have children. They are making it possible for people to feed themselves and their families. Whether it be the blue or white collar industries, men are more common. Men have an effect on other men's lives and spread the RP. A growing number of guys are adopting monastic routines in order to focus on themselves and shield themselves from distractions. These X axis are frustrated that males are prospering while they are being left behind economically and socially. Men are too busy succeeding in life to waste time on someone of little worth who wants to destroy everything you've worked so hard to accomplish, even if that someone is an elderly XX who is desperate for the man's money so they can climb out of the hole they built for themselves. Upon waking up, husbands discovered that their spouses were dissatisfied and fearful that their greatest fears were coming true and that they would be abandoned in the financial and emotional troubles they had brought upon themselves. To have a number two, please. Single and mature women go crazy about a youthful tale on potential partners. Sit down with us for a while and think about how heartbreaking it is for a lone older woman when a man snags a gorgeous middle schooler on peace leave. It is not intended that the reference to junior college be read as a suggestion that the speaker is referring to a college for young women. The phrase soar above your opponents but was actually invented by coach Greg Adams, but I'm going to borrow it to prove my point. When you surpass your opponent in strength, 
she will hate you more than anything. The more senior XXS will try to shing you into submission once more. Rich older guys will take advantage of them financially by giving their money to younger women. If they do manage to convince a younger man to settle down, he will still be struggling for years to come because young men generally do not have their lives together. Every wealthy older man who dates a woman from a community college will be publicly shamed until he learns his lesson. A metaphile label will be applied to this person. And the happiest person in the planet is a virgin, as Trump would imply. They will resort to any insult in the book to demean a man's masculinity. They're going to get all of his backers to turn on him. They want control of the man's life and his money, so they do this. That's just so self-centered. One surefire way to get on women's bad sides is to act in a way that goes against the grain. And if you tell them that I will never get a girlfriend, marry, have children, or raise another man's children, you will see steam bursting out of their ears, blood streaming out of their eyes, and anger pouring out of their mouths. When you eventually decide to go, they will yell at you and demand to know why you don't want to have anything to do with X-Axis and Shah Emu. You can be sure that any woman, married or not, will feel the same way if you utter those words to her. Do you understand that? No two people have the same reaction when men completely revoke their permission to do something. Just get it done. Every woman is connected to the sisterhood in one way or another when it comes to dealing with males. Consequently, they need to work together and battle for the best possible conclusion. More men would leave their wives and families and seek their own happiness if women didn't have this sisterhood pact. Women are vulnerable even if they have a male companion, he may leave her, and she may not be able to find another because most men are either monks or too impoverished to afford a woman. To ensure that everyone has a possibility of being provided for and rescued by a guy if things go wrong, women need to band together and try to keep men in check. Therefore, no woman can afford to have males walk out on their relationships, whether she is married, a member of the Rainbow Coalition, or a radical womanist. Every single lady knows that a man is her last, best hope of evading a life of hardship and destitution. Is it possible to work for someone who has a negative attitude toward men who are successful in all areas of life? Tell me the people who will make it impossible for you to give up on those who truly need you more than they do. They worry about their future while watching you eat steak at an expensive restaurant when they are only one emergency away from declaring bankruptcy. Do you really think they will let you go now that they have access to your entire paycheck? Do you seriously think they'll let you get away from their sorry asses, Toby Toby? They won't want a brother to be free, so they'll curse you until you change your mind about leaving the plantation. They will use any means necessary, including Masa and his dogs dragging you, to get you back to the plantation. They are afraid of you being successful and therefore independent. To put it another way, this is why you have to pay child support. Once your feet are shackled, you will not be able to readily escape, which is why they send you away with a divorce decree. To what extent are you understanding me? This is a harsh reality that all males must face, no one enjoys witnessing your mental anguish. Fortunately, one can choose from a wide variety of alternatives. You can choose to live as a monk or to strike out on your own, but I need you to promise that once you've departed the plantation, you will never go back.